I'm a firm believer in not speaking on something you don't know about. I'm a firm believer in not speaking out of turn, out of place. Um, the only reason why I'm actually making this video is because I feel like, uh, since Ellie brought this to our intimate relationship and details about our intimate relationship um, to the public, that I needed to um, also address the public. So since it was brought to the people, I'm going to address the people. In regards to my collaboration with DCC, this was a collab that was talked about um, back in July and um, around the time when I think we were all like one month or so, a couple of weeks or so into the friendship. As mentioned in Delvin's video, I met Delvin first, and then I met Phil Delvin in the video first, and then I met Ellie, and then we all started hanging out together. Once he realized, once she showed him, like, oh, this is the girl that I met. Um, we've gone to the movies together, we've gone to dinner together, we, I know Delvin's friends, I'm cool with Delvin's other friends, I'm cool with Ellie's other friends, um, well, I've met Ellie's other friends, met um, some of Delvin's other friends, so I, like I said, I've been here for the duration of the breakup and um, a nice chunk of the relationship. So, I, like I said, the... Collaboration was something that was talked about, honestly, over the summer, um, and it was something that was brought to Delvin by Ellie. So, me collaborating with Delvin, whether that be, sorry guys, since we're near highway, but me collaborating with Delvin, whether that had been a travel video or a mukbang, it was something that was already in the works, it's not something that's brand new. Once they broke up, Ellie never much once mentioned that I could no longer collaborate, collaborate excuse me, with Delvin or um, that it would be an issue if I did. Some Another part of the story that I know is not... Um, or has not been exposed or shared is the simple fact that I reached out to Ellie before the video was released. So if Ellie had a problem with me releasing or collaborating with Delvin, it could have gotten mentioned before the video dropped. It did not. I received a response to that text message after the video, after the video was, was released, and um, by that time I was like already getting ready for bed. And once I typed the response back to what Ellie said to me, um, which was shady and a lot of jabs were taken, um, and I feel like I responded appropriately. So if those messages are ever shared, I do um, want you guys to know that I made a statement to make sure that everybody was clear that um, I might be the youngest one out of the group. However, we're not going to, and I might be the newest one to um, the DCC family or the YouTube world. However, um, I'm not going to allow anyone to manipulate a storyline. Um, I know Delvin has allowed himself to be a punching bag. Um, in regards to like a lot of comments from just subscribers, non-subscribers, to channels however, I will not go for that, um, simply because I stand on fairness. I'm never about, um, oh, pick my side, pick this side, make this person look bad, make that person look bad. Only, only thing I care about is being fair. So, um, when Ellie did not respond back to my text message and she blocked me, she took to social media. Um, that approach, and I can't tell anyone how to behave, however, I can only speak on what I feel, and I felt like that approach was extremely immature. Had Ellie, um, and then somewhere in there, it went from being immature to me to becoming shady. Um, and I say that simply because Ellie blocked me from her story that she shares with her subscribers, but I was still, and I have screenshots of both things, I was still, she was still following me on Twitter, and if you follow her on Twitter, you know I was the only account that she was following. Okay, so, sorry guys, my phone went out, but I, um... We were still following each other on her personal page that she shares with um, her family and just like her more intimate social media account. It seemed a little bit more dramatic than it was. Um, in the collab, we did not speak about, which I told Ellie and my um, And then somewhere in there, it went from being immature to me to becoming shady. Um, and I say that simply because Ellie blocked me from her story that she shares with her subscribers, but I was still, and I have screenshots of both things, I was still, she was still following me on Twitter, and if you follow her on Twitter, you know I was the only account that she was following. Okay, so, sorry guys, my phone went out, but I, um, we were still following each other on her personal page that she shares with, um, her family, and just, like, her more intimate social media account. We were still following each other, so I felt as though the unfollow was to make the collab um, in the collab. We did not speak about, which I told Ellie in my message, we're not gonna speak about you guys' relationship, we're not gonna speak about the breakup, so please, um, you know, that's just, that's just those are things that we're not gonna cover. Um, just for the sake of, like, that's just once again, not um, a topic of conversation considering that Ellie's in a new relationship, Galvin is dating and, you know, mixing and mingling out in the world, so there is, mm, there, in the video between Dalton and I, we just didn't have a place to talk about that. Um, Hi guys, so 
well, sorry for the change in video quality. I have changed to my iPad to finish recording the rest of this video. So, um, yeah, right here. But, um, I honestly don't quite understand. That was my laptop. But, um, I honestly just don't understand. I think my biggest, I don't, it's not a gripe, but my biggest, um, concern was, we're both adults, we're all adults here. Why, if there was an issue with anything, why not address it with me first and fully? So just responding and saying this certain message that she put, um, just responding and only saying that certain message instead of actually sharing, you know, what you might have really felt or things of that nature, or sending the text message before the video dropped and if there was actually a problem, addressing the problem um, within text instead of taking it to social media. So I felt like that was a bit immature um, and just making on drama when there was none because we didn't speak about the relationship or anyone in particular in the um, collaboration video. So. That was something that stood out to me and was questionable. Um, I felt like for me to be blocked from the page that you talk to your subscribers to, I felt like um, blocking me, leaving me to have access on other things, made me feel as if the story was gonna be manipulated into something that it's just not. Um, going through this process with both of my friends, I have learned a lot about the both of them. Um, things have come out about the both of them. And um, I will say that two wrongs don't make a right. Um, both par parties did things, I won't say to hurt each other, but both parties did things that you just shouldn't do in a relationship. Um, and I, it's not my relationship, so I can't tell two grown adults how to be in their relationship, how to act in their relationship, how to respond to things in their relationship. But once again, like I said, two wrongs don't make a right. And if one person wronged you and you wronged them, that because they wrong you that does not make your stance on the issue um, any better. In regards to um, my feelings now about certain relationships um, or just with, you know my relationship with my friends, I care about the both of them and I want the best for both people. Would my feelings change about either of them simply because one did more bad than the other? Um, I don't. I don't know if I can say, honestly. But for me, I. I. I think all I can really say now is that I've learned a lot, and even before our collab, I had learned a lot. Um, and for me, like honestly, I have now become more careful with the company that I keep. Now become more careful with my um, security and just the people that I trust with information about me, um, information about my life and just giving other people access into my relationship. So yeah, like I said, there were things that just came out um, as the breakup was happening, as things were transpiring that I did not think were maybe true or just I had a certain image in my mind about yeah I had a certain image in my mind about things about personalities about people and that image has changed um drastically so I started questioning myself like how how did I let myself get manipulated <laughs> um which could be a video for just a completely another time you know just different time um, however, also just showing myself enough grace to, um, showing myself enough grace to accept that, that I am learning, um, to accept that I am 22 and I'm figuring life out, um, I'm still learning friendships. I tend to, um, have a lot of friends who might be, like, some of my friends are, like, 50 and married, um, some of my friends are... 31, some of my friends are 28, some of my friends are 22 and 23, so, um, 